Ladies and gentlemen, episode 8, the finale of Hasbro Hotel Season 1. What an insane ride this has been. Uh, it's uh, it's rated a 7.7 .7 on Amazon Prime, and that's because critics don't understand art. Uh, and this is a 9 to 9.5 out of 10. For sure, for real, for real, on God, on God. Uh, I am so not ready for this finale because they have so many loose ends to tie off. I know this is going to be the extermination. Somehow the demons are going to fight back. Uh... I, I am so terrified Lord Serpentius is going to die. I am literally so scared. I love him so much now. I, I feel like he is a kindred spirit. And I so badly don't want him to die. <laughs> but, bro, I uh, let's jump into it. I am so ready. I am so excited. I am literally so freaking excited. Uh, this is going to be insane. Um, I wonder if they're actually... I think they're going to have to end on a cliffhanger, right? The Alistair deal. Something with Alistair is going to be the cliffhanger at the end. Um, and I am a little bit afraid. Uh, I think that we are going to have, um, Adam get injured, okay? And he's gonna lose his shit that angels could get injured. God damn it, I'm so excited! All right, dude. All right, dude. All right, dude. Amazon Prime, by the way, pick up more indie works. You see how well this did for you, bro? You see how well has been did for you? Brother, I am begging you. I am begging you. Pick up more indie stuff. Okay, dude. All right, let's go. Let's go. I cannot believe this is the last episode. And I can't believe they aired all of this one after the other. They aired this in three batches over the course of two weeks. I also hope all the characters introduced show up. Like, I want the Vs here. I want all the overlords present. I, I, wa I want it to be freaking awesome. I want to see Sarah. I feel like they could uh, do everything in hell without actually ever seeing Sarah. And I want to see the Seraphim again. It's so rough. They uploaded everything so quickly. They paced it so fast. There's so many characters and plot points that they had to go through. Bro, this could have been 12 episodes. Easy. I am so ready. I am so freaking ready. I am so happy this got as big as it did. Thank you all for so much of your support on my reactions to the series so far. I am doing analysis videos that I'm probably going to be dropping on my main channel. Um, have... Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. We will be here for season two. And let me know if there's other things you want me to cover. Oh, God, please don't be Vox watching this on television. Serpentius, don't you dare betray them. No fucking way. Oh, my God, dude. It is Vox. They're gonna fight? Dude, no one's ever seen... Wait, what do you mean no way they're gonna fight? Bro, your, your friend Velvet was... was was, uh, why are overlords too scared to fight? She literally had that whole song. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell Who's put up these cameras? Who put up these cameras? No, Serpentius. <laughs> Dude, we need a really huge Serpentius moment in this episode. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, looks like your little hotel didn't work out so well. <laughs> I'm so happy we got him back. We literally haven't seen him in so long. Oh, Alistair, I cannot wait to watch you get fucked. <laughs> Whoa! We're literally getting the all-stars. This is going to be all the characters. I'm so excited. I am literally so excited. Oh, wait. It's these drones. That's how we're seeing it. All right, all right th th this, is, uh, this is courtesy of Vox, I suppose. The, the drones. All right. It's pretty kinky, not gonna lie. NTR Vox confirmed. I don't know, bro. Vox is into some kinky shit, bro. I wish my mom was here to see this. <sighs> foreshadowing! Foreshadowing! The cannibals seem ready to fight. Are we? Fear not, damsels. I shall have the staff ready for victorious combat. Bro wearing the... Dripped out? Dude, I need to get this, uh, this exact costume for my fucking model. Uh, how much will it cost? How much will it cost me? I will pay any amounts of money to get this exact costume for my model. He is dripped out the wazoo. Stop saying that's Nux, chat. I am allowed to say it. You are not allowed to say it. I don't want to hear any of this shit. Bro, no more of this Serpentius Lander. Bro, did he make a mech? Did Serpentius make a mech using angelic weapons? If so, bro, is... He's the fucking goat. He's the fucking goat. Serpentis. Oh my god, no. What in the hell are you supposed to be? General I am General Napoleon Pentis. Pentis reporting. <laughs> he was close. <laughs> he literally calls himself General Pentis. Bro, I have given myself a promotion because I deserve it. Let's go, bro. No one understands your self worth like you do, King. Keep preaching, homie. Oh, duty. I'll turn those rat scallions into soldiers in no time at all. Thank you, Pen. What can I do to help? 
I'm glad you asked. Yo! Are we getting the nifty moment? The base needs fortifications. Reinforce the southern wall. Create a moat around the perimeter to stop a ground assault. Bro, they literally all have wings. Bro, they have wings. Create a moat around the perimeter. How about this? If you see an angel, stab it. <laughs> Just get rid of Have a little holy knife. Dude, Nifty gonna... Yo, we're getting a litter cherry bomb. The whole gang is freaking here. The gang is here. No, 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 no. Okay. Listen up, sinner. All right, Angel, use your stripper ability. Dude, could they just make bullets out of uh, out of the angelic weapon steel shit? Like, make bullets out of it? I wish they would cover the lore a little bit better, like how they actually get these angelic weapons. So we got 24 hours before the extermination begins. Let's get to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I am Sir Mechanic Pentis, PhD, MD, PhD, attorney at law. It is I! I love him so much. Oh, they suck. Oh, they suck so bad. Oh, God. Dude, these guys are just having a watch party waiting for the downfall. Dude, this is just me watching IRL kick streams, waiting for them to die and, and continue to slander everyone that streams on this website. I'm gonna fucking die. They're, they're gonna die. Hello? I want to thank everyone for coming, even people who aren't staying here yet. Cherry? Look, I can't resist a fight, okay? Ah, <laughs> She's just here to help out the homies. That's so awesome. Especially when I get to tag team with this fuckhead. Ah, <laughs> Bro, they are so good. Tomorrow, the Exorcist Angels will face a hell ready to defend itself and win! Yeah! Yeah, we will. Tell them, baby. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Man, I love giving a speech to, like, a thousand people in the chat, and then you have one person. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Thank you, sir. We're going to win. <clears throat> but in case we don't, I want you all to know that I love you very much. Getting to know you has been the biggest honor of my life. Ah! Redemption really means It's General Benches. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> Master Dumb, thanks for the sub. I know you all tried. I have seen the good in all <laughs> She's just like all right, dude, what is going on? If I move into this hotel, I'm just going to get these speeches all day. I, I'm just... <laughs> I love you all. I know, I told you she would say that. Ah, General Nux Pinch is at your service. So much, and... And live tonight, however you want, because we're all going to die. Yeah, let's go, Nifty. Nifty! Dude, she, she, I'm telling you, she out there, she is so based, bro. Nifty out there, bro. I love her so much. Dude, it's such a stellar cast. Hasbin Hotel's cast is so freaking good. All right, let's give it up for not dying. Love not dying. Drinks? <laughs> listen, listen. If it's your last night, at least make it a good one. Dude, we're getting too much Nux Pen. We're getting. Why do I keep calling him that? We're getting too much Sir Penches here. Uh, I, I feel like I feel like they're they're putting so much attention on definitely not the most important character. Oh no, they can't kill Sir Penches, bro. There's no way, bro. They're not gonna kill my guy. I can't believe I literally called this from episode two. I've become so attached to this character through the memes. <laughs> Oh, me and my 2,000 live egg boys watching right now, please. This is such a death flag. I cannot. I cannot. No, please don't kill the serpentures. And not dying tomorrow. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, celebratory night before a courageous last stand. It's been a surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Almost makes one sentimental, eh, Nifty? <laughs> Why is he talking to Nifty? What the? How is he talking? He's like, wow, I know I'm just here to manipulate them and get exactly what I want from all of them, but it's almost like I've started to like them over this time, buying their trust in order to take their souls. Ha ha ha! Hilarious! Really like them, Alistair. They let me put on roach puppet shows without booing. Okay, uh, what the fuck? Ah, an enjoyable collective to be around. 
I admit one could get accustomed. I dub thee King Roach. Okay, we're getting a lot of nifty over here. Please don't kill her off. I I'm just paranoid. I'm literally paranoid. Please. These are, this is my family. Don't kill my homies. Oh, to understand your twisted little mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, I love every character in this show, bro. Not, there's no weed in the world that would make me high enough to understand these characters. Last day of after. Dude, do not be another Shibuya incident. God damn it. And you're not off snorting a line off some hunk's abs? Eh, you fucked one cannibal pool boy, you fucked them all. True, true, I should know. I guess you have changed. Hey, Charlie said live tonight however we want it. So pour me a fresh one, and let's get to living. <laughs> all right, baby. Miss Bomb. <laughs> you no, no, no. Oh, Sir Pinch's Riz. He's changed. He's evolved. Come on, Sir Pinch's. Don't drop the. Don't fumble the bag. Cherry. Yeah. I want to tell you that I. <laughs> I love. I'd love to wish you good luck in the battle ahead. Oh, <laughs> negative Riz Pinch's. No. I'd love to. Uh, I wish you luck. Okay. You are, have always been a worthy opponent with the most brilliant explosive contraptions I've ever seen. <laughs> I am in love with you for the engineering <laughs> techniques used in your weapons. I would fuck your bombs if I can. Oh, no. God, I'm buying everyone a drink. Uh, Thank thanks. you. Anyway, I guess. Please don't die tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, uh, General Pinches. No, no, General Pinches. You can't. You know, you could totally tap that. Stop being gross. Bro, you know. if she has sex with Sir Pinches before this war, Sir Pinches is 1 billion percent dead. I'm just saying. Like, I, 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 Pinches, please, I'm begging you survive, homie. Please. Oh, I hear he's got two dicks. Huh. No! <laughs> Angel, Angel, you're a good wingman, but the death flags are going crazy. The death flags are going insane. No, listen, uh, uh, listen. Better to have L Riz and W wingman than W Riz and no friends. So Pinchus one, everyone in chat zero. All right, I'm just saying. By the way, I also have two penises confirmed. Coincidence. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so scared. What if we lose? Well, then everyone's dead. No reason to be scared. Pull an Alistair. Put a smile on your face. No reason to be upset. We needed a little wholesome before the storm. Because I imagine the final song of the show is going to be the battle. Why do I know this song? What have we been fighting for? I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Bro, this is the same song as... As season, as uh, episode five, the second song at the end, the the freaking, I'll do anything more than anything. It's the Lucifer song. All right, all right. It's so beautiful. I love when they do songs that like harken back to previous songs. It's like the Hell is Forever song, the way it came back in episode six with the angel. Oh, they even have the same words. All right, they're not even trying here. That was sweet. Oh, dude, look at that. That is a blasphemous hedonistic relationship. Hot as fuck though. Hot as fuck though, bro. Adam is fucking going crazy right now. Extermination day is Adam! Alright, dude, this is gonna be this is it. This is so it. My palms are sweaty. My arm spaghetti. I am ready, homie. Here, bitches. We're gonna go down and exterminate demon ass. Destroy that ass. Prepare yeah, dude, you are so right. I've seen the rule 34. Okay, let's not get into that. We don't need to give Twitter more ammo. I was already canceled yesterday for 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 uh, mentioning Rule 63. Let's not do that again. Slaughter every sinner in that shit hotel, and you all remember Vaggie. Boo! Boo! They're all jealous because she got the coolest name. It was named after the coolest thing ever. About that or ass. You just. All right. Uh, yeah. The editor, edit out the c word. You don't understand. I have three of my episode reactions demonetized because of that word. I spoke to people at YouTube behind the scenes. C-U-N-T is an instant demonetization. Editor, for the love of God, cut it out, please. Just chill, dude. Fuck. 
Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. I'm supposed to be the asshole here. What, what's homie? Whoever brings me Vaggie's head gets. Uh, uh, Dick Master. Listen, you have what to offer. I don't know. A million heaven bucks. How about that, huh? Yeah. yeah. That was a hard bargain. Ladies. He is like the least charismatic leader evil ever. He's just. He gives them what they want. Let's fuck shit up. Yeah. <laughs> I love him so much. I love Adam. I think he's the best, the best, one of the best antagonists, um, probably I've seen in years. A lot of people don't, um, uh, a lot of people don't respect him for being a good antagonist and just have him as like an asshole that could be hated by everyone. Uh, a lot of people, so there's a lot of discourse about, um, fucking Adam, bro. Dude gets hate from like the, the super woke because he's a misogynistic asshole. And then he gets hate from like the anti-woke because, Bro, they're disrespecting Adam, like the, the biblical figure Adam. So I think that the, he attracts attention gloriously. And the fact that he is the exact antithesis of what the show is actually trying to promote is beautiful. The show is trying to promote the idea that even though you're in hell as a sinner, you can change and be a good person. And Adam is in heaven, but he could change and be a bad person. It's such a beautiful antithesis to the show. Uh, let's go, baby. Let's go. I am so ready for this. This episode is going to be insane. We literally built to this climax the entire freaking way. I am here, brother. Yeah! Just sing the guitar solo song. Oh, it just, they're just, they're just coming right here, bro. They just saw every hole's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. <laughs> Great point, boss. Chat, you are not the egg boys. You are your own people. <laughs> You'll have names after this, men! Get ready, everyone. We fight together! <laughs> she is so excited, bro. <laughs> Serpentius, what about your mech? You should be piloting a mech, dude! No! No! Angelic steel mech! Come on. Let's go. Yo, she is dripped out for this. Oh my god, she is ready! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Honestly, getting the watch party from the Vs is such a nice touch. Like, think about it. That is such a good touch. Because, first of all, Velvet, you are a fucking little tr trash talking bitch fuck, you little son of a shit bag. You go into the Overlord meeting to flex that Overlord's too scared to fight. Uh, that whole bullshit, and you're just sitting here on your couch watching, you stupid fucking bitch twat. Anyway, um. Oh, this is gonna be good. God, I, I'm sh I'm currently shipping um, my boy Valentino with the edge of an angel spear. Uh, well, what's your favorite ship in Hasbin Hotel? Now, for your soul. Dude, what an insane final battle for the series! What the frick? Wait, did she just have a shield? No, oh, they're actually killing them. They're killing them. The angels should freak the frick out. Let the slaughter begin. Oh my god, he looks way too happy. <laughs> Bro. Wait. They appear to have some kind of shield. Yo, he can't believe it. He cannot believe what he's watching. He lived his whole life as a superior entity, not knowing defeat at all. Oh my god, dude. Prepare for extermination, brother. And for those of you in divine ordainment, your extermination is my entertainment. Guitar solo for gap. Oh, really? I didn't see this giant fucking shield in front of me, you dumb bitch! No shit! Based, based Adam, let's go. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, well, that's crazy, because I didn't notice. Bro, and they're dying. And they're dying, bro. Bro, man just summoned the Cthulhu monster with freaking angelic freaking axes. Oh my god! That's how they can kill us? With our own weapons? Fucking weak, dude. Right, and it's also, it's pretty easy to get those weapons. Like, if you think about it, it's relatively easy to get those weapons, right? Because these angels are not exactly stellar fighters. They're just immortal. So you beat their beat the frick out of them, take their weapon, and easy, easy, easy pickles! <laughs> it's kind of wild how the tables are turned so, like, so viciously and ferociously. These angels, their training is purely offensive. These guys are all glass cannons. Every single one of them has zero defense stat. 
okay? And and no guard. They are just not ready to dodge because why would they need to dodge? They are the victims here. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> angelic cannons, dude! I love him so much. <laughs> no, Serpentius is the goat. Man's the goat. Hey, yelling while fighting doesn't help. <laughs> oh, come on, Nifty, kill the live ones. <laughs> just, <laughs> he just <walks> up to, <laughs> what the frick? He just walks up to dead ones. <laughs> okay, Nifty. <laughs> Trying to focus, sweetie. Turns out Alistair's actually kind of awesome or something. Crazy how that happened. Uh, we might actually have a chance. Love the optimism. Still trying to focus. I'm fucking over this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We are watching an actual fight scene, ladies and gentlemen. An actual fight scene. Adam is in the fray. This is going to be Adam versus Alistair, right? I feel like no one else in the... In here even as a chance. It's literally Adam versus Alistair for like the the two head honchos going at each other. And they're my two favorite characters in the entire series. So I am so ready for this. Mega Soup with the 30 gifted subs. Thank you so much for the support. Dude, you do realize that's like 60 subs on Twitch. That is huge. Thank you so much. Everyone in the kick chat tonight, you guys have been amazing. We're at like 2,000 viewers almost and vibes are high. Thank you so much, everybody. <gasps> Did I call it? Did I literally call it? We are getting the Alistair versus Adam battle. <laughs> Listen, that squealing was out of pure pensiousness. Dude, that, that's awesome. I love that so much. Like here, here you have this angelic figure, except looking as demonic as possible, right? And here you have Alistair with smiling with the most, look at this. Dude, the, the contrast is beautiful. Oh my god, dude. Vox is just sitting there waiting for Adam to kill Alistair. But dude, do you realize how bad it will look for you if Alistair survives this, let alone wins? There's no way they're killing Adam. Adam's definitely surviving. Uh, I'm not I'm not even entertaining the notion that he dies. Again, as I said before this episode, I think he gets injured, which leads up to a much bigger heavenly war for the next episode. I think that's incredibly likely. I th she's just mad that the Hasbun Hotel gang are all trending on Twitter right now, and she is not. Adam, first man, next to die. Who the f- <laughs> I hear they call you dick master. Well, first person to have a dick, first person to lose a dick. Fuck are you? Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you. Quite a pleasure. I'm about to end your fucking life. Second Alistair swear in the series. Bro, this is the second time he said the fuck word, and every single time he said the fuck word, bro, it was awesome oh my god adam standing here alistair just looking at him nah i'd win nah i'd win nah i'd win it's it's gojo over for you homie oh my god dude this is the fight scene of the series milos thank you so much for uh, hopping into chat always nice to see kick staff here nice voice don't you know jazz is for pussies he's based <laughs> he's he's right though. Like, let's be really. <laughs> Sorry, jazz fans. Bro. Oh, this is such a cool fight scene. What the frick, bro? Bro, Adam thinks he's Marceline. Adam thinks he's Marceline from Adventure Time. I'm on the front page of Kick. Yo, thank you, bro. Really think you can take me on? A mortal soul is no match for me, Edge Lord. You. Dude, he's, he's so meta. You're mortal and you're an edge lord. What do you think? You're an isekai protagonist, bro. You should know better than anyone what a soul can accomplish when they take charge of their own fate. Bro. <laughs> like, let's be real here. Adam was a mortal too. <laughs> I'm on the front page of Kick right now between 21 Savage, Adam Ross, and XQC. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> oh my god. I think you're tough shit. I'm tougher than you. <laughs> Dude, that's all I need to be, brother. Dude, this is everything we needed. This is the perfect climax. Thanks for the sub, Vegum. Lack like discipline, control, and worst, you're sloppy. 
Fuck, he's so scary, bro. Is so impending. And you're... Get him. Get him with like a really bad insult. You're uh, stupid and dumb. You're you're a bitch. You're uh, you're just, uh, you have no bitches. L Riz plus no bitches plus ratio. Fuck, fuck you, you red piece of fuck. Too much fucking red. Fuck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's ex that's everything I wanted. Exactly. Well said, Adam. Well put. This, this is the most eloquent of all men. Th this is why we know you as Dick Master. Nicely said. <laughs> Poetry. Oh my <sighs> God. I'm gonna wipe that shit-eating grin off your face. Dude, this is this is the fight we've always needed. Cause radio is fucking dead. What just happened? Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alistair gets fuck injured, bro. You, uh... Oh, fuck you, Vox. How dare you? Man is actually fighting for your species, you insufferable little pathetic bitch. Egg boy, thanks for the gifted sub. <laughs> this is better than sex! <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I, I totally am one to have an opinion on, on how what sex is like. Right, guys? Right, guys? I'm going to have sex with everybody! Wait, does he lose his radio voice when the thing breaks? Have to disagree. Nope, he does not. Stay with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this broadcast. <laughs> oh my god, he lost the fight. He lost the one-on-one -on -one versus Adam. Unless he shows up behind him and kicks his ass. Bye, bitch. No! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Pussy! <laughs> Dude, honestly, no one's mad here. Bro, Adam... And Al Adam, the leader of the Angel Exorcist army, bro. True to the meme of Nah, I'd win, bro. He lived the Nah, I'd win. Dude, he really is the general. General Pench is actually carrying right now. All right, listen, I respect the hell out of Alistair. You gotta know when to hold him. You gotta know when to fold him. You gotta know when to walk away and know when to run. Bro, every character is absolutely pulling their goddamn weight right now. Vagatha! Not my name. Did, did he call her Vagatha? Hello, purple female! Name, but got it. Sorry! 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 Dude, she is literally one of the most powerful people in hell. Okay, Charlie. And she's just, just throwing ginger at them. Oh my god, of course, of course. I was about to make that joke and Angel does ah Okay, I walk right in. Hold that thought. No, 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 they killed an egg boy! Uh, guys, this was one of you, he was one of your brothers. He was one of your brothers. <laughs> no! No! Yo? Oh my god, he really, he really filled her guts, didn't he? Bro, he really turned her womb into like a swimming pool. Anyway. What? I nearly scrambled myself. Get somewhere safe. Uh oh. Suck my holy life! <laughs> Dude, I love him so much! What a fantastic antagonist. He, an actual monster. But Alistair was supposed to handle him. Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> He lived up to the nah, I'd win meme. No, he must be. We Bro. aren't gonna last long unless we do something about him. Oh no. Serpentius. He's gonna sacrifice himself. No, 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 no. Not Serpentius. Anyone but him. Anyone but him. Dude, why isn't Lucifer here? Your daughter is literally fighting for her life. Lucifer, show the fuck up, bro. You could be a deadbeat dad all you want, but when back gets to the wall, you should be here. Of course. I'm trying to fuck. He's gonna kiss her before he heads into his final. No, <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice. Don't worry, Sir Benches. You will live on within all of us. You will live on within my heart. Here, you out of your fucking mind. Kiss her. Yes. Ah, oh, what a view! I love you. No, oh, I mustn't cry. The positive Riz, so much Riz plus plus all the ratios.
I love you. Remember me. That was kind of hot. <laughs> oh no. Eggs. At his final hour. In his final hour, the Riz death flag rises. Oh no. I was not ready. Activate thrusters and charge the death ray. Oh my fucking god, bro. Bro, the Riz. He has all the Riz. Oh no. No. Egg boys. All right, you're coming with him. Oh sevens in chat, salute our legend over here. Yo, Sir Benches! Sir Benches, we are here! We support you! Why did everyone have to call me Sir Benches and then the character just casually dies? Let's go, chat! We are in this together! It is you and me and Sir Benches! You will live on within me forever! Oh, what? <laughs> ah, that could have been ugly. Uh -huh. Bro had two penises, but he couldn't stand up to Dick Master. <laughs> they had to vaporize him. No, oh, Sir Benches, why? No. He live. Oh, Sir Benches. Fuck. No. You did good, no, buddy. No. Charlie, I'm so sorry. Bro. Razzle, dazzle. Well, I guess he triggered this, but... Ugh, bro. Okay. Let's ride! Dude, Adam is ultimately immortal, bro. He's ultimately mortal. Fuck, bro. This is like a power of friendship shonen moment if I've ever seen one. Base Uzumaki, thanks for the sub. Oh, that was easy. No, bro. Ain't no way. All right, we're getting the loot versus va Vaggy finale. How fitting is that, bro? The exorcist that changed versus the exorcist that stayed the same. All right, Danger Tits. Let's see what you got. The Master, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, my God. I take your life. I'm going to tear that other eye out of your face. Try it, bitch. <laughs> Did we really get the bell ding? No. Wait, is this episode just not gonna have a song? Bro. Dude. All right. Oh my God, she got pimp slapped. Ain't no way. Risking your immortal life for sinners? That's some crazy shit. Even for Lucifer's brat. These sinners are my family. Oh my god, it's so powerful. Clench your cheeks, Adam. You are about to take an L. My homie Alistair is not down. He is coming back. Cause he needs Charlie alive, goddammit. These sinners are my family. Bro, they got dragons for 30 seconds and then the angels were like, eh, no. Do you even hear yourself? You should have stayed in your place, girl. All right, Alistair jump scare. Show up behind him and kick his ass. What? That's princess of hell to you. Oh my baby. god. The fuck? That hurts. Yo, I see, he's just not used to it. He is living a life in heaven where he cannot be hurt. He cannot be affected by anything. He has no consequences to any of his actions. Seeing actual consequences is terrifying to him. I mean, it's, it's, I guess it's fitting that Charlie gets the final battle with Adam, right? Like, the protagonist versus the antagonist of the series. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you always were weak. Uh-oh. No, bro! So she's not gonna die. There ain't no way she's gonna die, bro. Ain't no way, dude. So, I'll spare you the pain of seeing your demon bitch die. All right. All right. Squashed, bucko. Let's see her. Do it then. Correct. Oh my God, is it Fifi? 
No, no, bro. Dude, this is the Shibuya arc all over again. You're a mistake. Seriously, you're pathetic. You know that? Ready to die rather than accepting mercy? No. Live. Live knowing that you only do because I let you. Fuck, bro. That's some gangster shit. A failure. I, I still terrible idea. I, listen, I have always been there, bro. Always, and every single time I watch something where the good guy lets the bad guy live, bro. I, if this, if the bad guy will try to kill you again later, end them, end the fucking bloodline, bitch. Get them out of here. Oh god. This fight was cute and all, but it's time to die with the rest of them. Uh-oh. Uh, Charlie! D dude, you caused Charlie to be in this predicament. Do you realize that? If you would have killed her, you would have been fine. Yes, it's metal as fuck. Yes, loot header berserk moment. Yes, I like loot as a character. Vaggy, you failed. Uh, is this the time where I say I, I called it? Is this the time where I say I told you so? Is this the time where I say I literally predicted Alistair having that final fight? Is this the time where I was absolutely 100% totally wrong because it wasn't Alistair at all, it was Lucifer all along? Is this the time? <laughs> Oopsies. Daddy's home, baby. Daddy's home. Uh, no pre-watched. Well, I beat the pre-watched allegations, that's for sure. However, I did say that if Lucifer doesn't show up, like, no excuses. No excuses. He had to be here. Like, he literally had to be here. Sorry I wasn't here sooner, sweetie. Yeah, you should be sorry. There is no excuse. <sighs> okay, serious. <laughs> Dude, I love how Adam is just like, he's this panting fat guy. Bro is literally the ugly bastard. How many of you freaks do I have to fight? Oh, I'm the only one that matters. See, you mess with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Daddy, that is hot, bro. Hot. Hot as fuck, bro. Well, this just got interesting. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Everything changes. Big Daddy Boss showed up a wet man boom. I like as I am. It's fuck you up, Dad. Wait. <laughs> it's fuck you up. No, I, I know what I said. It's fuck you up. No, I know what I said, bitch. What did I say? <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy that literally my top three characters are all here for the finale. We got Alistair, we got Lucifer, we got Adam. Literally the top three in the finale. This is a glorious final battle. So this is what you've been up to since Eden? I gotta say, you really let yourself go, buddy. <laughs> Bro, this is like the ultimate NTR gang, right? Because he ended up with his wife. So like, dub, dub. You judging me? You're the most hated being in all of creation. <laughs> well, your first wife didn't seem to hate what I had to offer. Oh! Bro just got sneakoed. He just little broed Adam, dog. Oh my god. For the second, for the dude, he literally fucked both of his wives. No! Fucking end you! Nice try, douchebag. Hold still, you slippery fucker! Oh! 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 I got you. Uh, I wouldn't look away from, you know. Look out! Wait, what the fuck? Let's go, teamwork, baby! Oh my God! Hey, my daughter! Don't forget, you're in my house, bitch! Oh my God, dude, this is glorious! Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, dad. He's had enough. I disagree. This is such an L move. Dog, no, this is such a bad move. This man deserves a seven page muda muda, goddammit. Alright. How's mercy taste, you little bitch? <laughs> I'm so happy they didn't kill him, bro. He's literally one of my favorite characters. Even though he's an asshole and they absolutely should have killed him, they should have ended this bitch. No. You don't get to end this. I'm fucking Adam. I'm the fucking man, and you're just some fucking clown or something. I started everything on Earth. All of mankind came from these fucking nuts. 
Dude, you are pathetic. Oh my god. You all should be worshipping me, you ungrateful, disgusting, fucking losers. Whoa. Oh. Hey, you got something sticking out of your, your thing there. Nifty! It's nifty, isn't it? No! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. No, does he does he die? Is it over? No way Adam dies, bro. He was such a cool character. Nifty. Although I guess it makes sense to introduce a new antagonist for season two because his entire plot line really ran through. We got the full ass character breakdown on Adam. Uh, I think that that is really dope. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, bro. Common Nifty W. Look at this. Oh. That changes everything. All right, dude, bro's dead. Bro literally got stabbed more times than Sneeko's girlfriend. Bro got stabbed more times than Lucifer stabbed all of his exes. Oh my God, Nifty literally came in and stole the boss kill. Oh my God. <laughs> she just walks away. She just bounces away. Sir, stay with me, sir. Adam. It's <laughs> Adam, bro. Bro, I never thought I'd get killed by so many back shots. I got back shotted by a lolly. <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> over. Take your little friends and go home. Please. Retreat. All exorcists fall back. And the ones that can't, well, you guys are food for the cannibals. Uh, hope you fucking hate yourself. Big Dick Davey, thank you for the sub. Dude, I'm really excited to see who the antagonist is in the next season. I think that um, it's really good that I, I like when people kill off villains when their entire uh, time is run through. <laughs> Get it run through. But, uh, dude, what an insane episode. Rip Dick Master. I mean, I predicted Adam getting injured. I didn't realize he would die, die. But I guess that makes Sarah the next antagonist. That's That's crazy. Good ass writing. When you run through a character's entire story, kill them. Don't be afraid to kill your characters. Oh, who's up for pancakes? Good evening. Bro, dude. Insane. <laughs> that was the extermination. Oh my lord. I cannot. What are they gonna do for the next five minutes? I can't believe the season's ending. Oh my god. I'm Katie Killjoy. And I. Nobody gives a shit who you are, Tom. Breaking news Extermination Day is canceled. Charlie Morningstar managed to bend off. Fuck, bro. They are trending, bitches. Angelic attack with more than just nice words. Oh, oh, oh. I bet you feel so stupid right now, Velvet. Scene turn of events, our demonic head honcho Lucifer stepped in to save his daughter's ass in the last moment. We're also hearing reports that Adam, leader of the Angelic Legion's first man and totally fuckable bad boy, has been slain by- <laughs> Nifty's getting the credit! No! No! Okay, that's nuts. I a filthy janitor. The janitor said, quote, Charlie told me to stab, so I did. Well, I guess that's all it took. That's all it took, baby. Anyway, congrats. It's crazy that the extermination was actually held off, not even by all of hell. Hell didn't need to come together. It was just kind of this alliance of, look, powerful guys, don't get me wrong. But ultimately, it wasn't all of hell. So I think the next, the stakes for the final battle of the next season is going to be so much bigger. It is going to be an all-out war against Hell because they have proven themselves a threat. They are living up to that entire rebellious nature that they call them. So I think it's very, very likely that the next final battle will need to be all of Hell coming together. I, and it'll be like an all-out war against Heaven's actual army, not just these exorcists. That's insane. To Charlie and her crew for not being totally fucking useless for once. Bro. Sir Benji's though. Oh, they're there. It's oh, it's okay. Quick quick pour one out for Sir Benji's, please. Ah! Little fat nugget survived. Let's go. Old Warg, thanks for the sub. Oh, Snake Man, where art thou? Oh, how I miss you and your egg boys so. You will live on for eternity in my kick chat. <laughs> no. Sir Petches. 
Damn, Nux quit spoiling seasons two through five. Oh, Serpentius, no, no. The Serpentius eulogy song. No way, that's the final song of the show is the Serpentius eulogy. Uh, this is the ultimate Nux called it moment, I think, of the series. The fact that I've been saying this since episode two. Oh, man. Oh, Nux gets a song. Oh, Nux gets a song. Chat, stop it. All right, so basic. it's kind of ironic, though. Like, this definitely is many steps moved forward for hell. The fact that they can actually fight and maybe even win. However, I think it's a very important time to sit down and understand something very important. Charlie made everything worse. Literally made everything worse. <laughs> this is the first step to a massive rebellion that ends in a happy ending. But bro, right now they are in a much worse state than they were a year ago. Like my God, you succeeded ultimately. It's true. You've lost friends, but but you succeeded. Base dad, base dad. I love Lucifer. What a legend. And touched my heart, bro. This is the same song as the first season, the first episode. This is the happy day in hell song. Ah, oh, what an iconic ending, bro. We got freaking. Everyone cherry bomb here at the very end, dude. Okay, we need Alistair to show up at the end because this is all he, It all worked out for him very very well. Ah, cherry bomb joined the hotel forgot about Sir Panches. They literally they, they cucked this man's eulogy This man got nothing. No respect brother. What future? That's what matters. What matters isn't the past What matters is the future the past is set in stone. It is what it is very wholesome love that yo Okay, so there's gonna be an interesting power imbalance now. It's crazy. They were not inspired at all. They are just using this opportunity. Alistair's missing again, bro. Every single... No, no way next season is like, I've been gone for seven more years, but I am back. No, I love... Yo, Alistair. I, I really like the... um, I really like the Vs as an antagonistic force. Like, ultimately, Heaven are the main antagonists, but even within Hell, obviously not everyone is just gonna be a nice guy. Right? And I really like talking about Sir Pench's but Dude, still, how, it's crazy. Bro is still the most mysterious character in the whole show. The final episode. He's still the most mysterious character in the- Oh my god, dude. Dude literally is out there for the power grab. He is literally out there for the craziest power grab. Clip my wings. Is that metaphorical or is that literal? Alistair could be so much more than just a sinner that became a radio demon. Alistair could be some sort of fallen angel that made a really bad deal a long time ago. Bro, there. what a fantastic character. Bro is just sitting here in his goon cave and plotting. And if whoever owns his soul thinks he's dead, then he could just focus on getting out of there. Aww. Bro's just ca casually back. Casually here. <laughs> Dude, Lucifer's face. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, this fucker's back. He's still alive. Oh, this is the motherfucker. <laughs> What a good uh, send off, bro. Oh, new hotel looks way better than the old one. Now that's a makeover. All right, well, we knew it was going to end with this. We got to tee up season two. Serpentius stays winning. He lives. I live. I, Lord Naxpentius, he redeemed himself in his final hour. What an absolute legend. What a man. I was waiting for this. I am here. I'm, I'm not standing up because my dick is so. Bro gave it all up at the very end. He lives. By the way, by the way, by the way, by, 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 by the way, I said in my reaction to episode two, episode two reaction, I said Serpentius is gonna die in the last episode and he is gonna be the first sinner to get redeemed. I literally called it. You can say pre watched all you like, you dumb shits. But I was here all along. Where are my egg boys? Where are my egg boys? I literally called this. I literally called this. I literally called this in episode two. This is why I always got to trust Nuxenor. Dio? He's here. He's so back. He's so back, Sir Benchat. I'm literally, I have never been this happy in my entire life. Oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Vivzy Pop, I owe you a big one, a solid. All the money I paid Vivzy Pop behind the scenes to make this happen, it all worked out. Where, where am I? Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Sir Penches. Bro, I don't even need to pay $50,000 for a verbal ace animation. It was canon all along. Bro, that Sarah face is gold. Hello. She's so happy.
<laughs> Yo. So here's here's one. Oh my God, the Lilith jump scare at the end. All right, all right, all right, all right. Before before we click, before we proceed, we have we have to understand exactly what we are witnessing right now. Okay, bro has hard eyes now because he's in heaven. Oh my God. First of all. It's very interesting that we've seen something. All of the sinners that we've seen killed by angels in the past, they were sinners to the very end. This guy actually died redeeming himself. Maybe the way to redeem a sinner in the canon is to kill a repented sinner, and then he goes to heaven. What if that's the canon? What if that literally is the canon? It was always part of the system that sinners could redeem themselves, and that is if they die redeemed. Think about it. He stood up for his friends. He stuck it to the man. Literally went up against freaking Adam. All right. He sacrificed himself. He acted for justice. He checked off everything on Adam's list. He dies for love and gets redeemed. What if that's canon all along? Dude, crazy shit if true. Oh. It is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy he's alone. I'm not. I'm. <laughs> Normally when a character that I love dies, like, and then it turns out they were alive, I'm always so mad. Like, bro, if they bring back some obvious character deaths from Jujutsu Kaisen or One Piece, like, oh, turns out this character was alive all along, I would literally be furious. Like, if you kill and if you remove an impactful death with something like this, I will be furious. But this is so cool. It's a plot point. Also, his death was so fitting because it was just so little. Like, if he would have died, if he would have actually died, you would have had a massive massive like hullabaloo about it he would have died spouting all sorts of crazy shit final words he just blipped out of existence bro dude what a crazy scene dude oh adam is oh this is eve oh this this isn't lilith this is eve dead your deal is done and i'm in charge now your brat is threatening the very foundation of heaven and if you want your brat no this is lilith this is Lilith! Your brat is threatening heaven! The brat is Charlie. Oh my god. You have to stay here. You're going down there and stopping that. So Lilith was causing troubles in hell. So seven years ago, she gets put in heaven. She's just chilling in heaven. For free. Dude, this there's so much here, bro. Again, I think that... Uh, listen, this is a crazy thing that I have a feeling no one else is going to call. Uh, just because it's so batshit insane, but I'm going to say it anyway. What if Alistair was a fallen angel and swapped places with Lilith somehow? This deal seven years ago had Lilith and Alistair swap places. No, it can't be. It can't be. I I'm just so I'm so curious about all these characters. There's so many good myster mysteries to unpack here. Bitch, you understand me? Lilith? Bro. Do not deceive me. My eyes do not deceive me. The bitches lives. Yeah, I don't know about that Alistair thing. Dude, there, there is so much. What a fantastic end to a first season. Nothing but applause and respect for how absolutely goaded this season was. This was a goaded season of television. It is a 9.5 out of 10 for sure. I have tiny little itty bitty pathetic stupid nitpicks here and there about pacing and shit. But this was a freaking masterpiece. Idiots rated a 7.7. .7. It was amazing. Like, subscribe. I will do season two. I will also be covering this as time goes on as well as Hell of a Boss. This was great. Vivzy Pop, you killed it. You succeeded and you deserve all the love. Bro, this was fire. Fire. Follow me on kick, goddammit, because we do lots of crazy stuff out here. This was so good. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.